Hey guys, welcome to the Hobby Life. And today we have a March of the Machine bundle from Amazon. This thing was 33 bucks on Amazon and with eight set boosters and me not having this box in my collection, I thought I would go give it a shot. So this is everything this box comes with. We have the eight set boosters, a very cool oversized spin down, like with all bundles. We have a all art Galtzim Mavroom. And then the box, a bunch of foil lands. Yeah, I've opened up a bunch of this set, but I've never uh, opened up this box. So very, very happy that I uh, finally got it for a great price. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and uh, yeah, check out what is inside. Got yeah, this very cool poster with some of the most famous planeswalkers. Ooh, I do like this poster. And on the back here, we have Archangel Elspeth. Look at this art. Wow, this is really, really awesome art. I wish this was on a playmat because I love angels and this is a, uh, this would be a really cool art for a playmat. Let's check out the box here. Again, we have our planeswalkers. Cool little box, take a look in here. Here are all the punch outs. Ooh, and there she is again. I think this one matches the art on the card a little bit more. And let's see what we have in here. We have the one, two, three. We have the eight set boosters. Very, very exciting. All right, and then we also have the two packs here. We'll take a look at those in a second. And here is the spin down, oversized spin down. Very cool, and then let's see. There's the set logo there, and I like this ivory looking white dice. Let's take a look at what's in here now. But yeah, checking out some of the art here. One art per land type. All right, set those to the side there. And then this is where we have our foil promo, Galtza and Mavrin. There's the Dino and his best eye. Okay, and then this one has all of the foil lands. Nice, so similarly one of each art. And that is going into my Dino Commander deck, the one that started off with the Caverns of Ixalan Precon. Very excited to toss in there with Gashath as the commander. All right, let's dive into a pack. Take a look. Has been a while since I've opened set boosters, but hey, all right. Order of the Alabaster Host. There is our two-sided. We have a Marsha the Machines art card, and then we go into the Tranquil Cove. Nice, nice. And this is going straight into my Will of Scion of Peace deck. I actually don't have an Azorius life gaining land, surprisingly. Those are not expensive, but I just never picked one up or managed to pull one. We have Ravenous Sail back here. Another Dino, a tandem takedown. Very nice little interaction there. Invasion of Vryn. A Finn the Faint Bearer. Very cool art. And then the last card is a Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree is a legendary artifact. Alright, there's our Phyrexian token artifact here. And on the back we have an Incubator, very nice. Invocation of the Founders. And then this is a Invasion of Arcafios. Marchessa, the Resolute Monarch. And on the other side we have an Invasion of Fiora, very nice. Okay, so... Let's take a look at what's in the pack. Sworn Cavalier, Sentinel, Kite Sail. Srak and Gorklaw, very cool. You can always use an Atali, which I don't have, and this is cool. What's an Aurelia the War Leader? Ooh, a nice little Chandra art. Foil Forest. And then we dive into the pack. Yeah, I don't have the Aurelia, but I also don't run Boros Angels of any kind, so I don't know if I will be needing that Aurelia. But it's probably like a $10 card, which is kind of nice. Liliana's Talent is a rare here. 
Okay, and we have a jury. Man, we're pulling mythics left and right. This is a Croxa and Kunaros. Elder Giant Dog. Very cool. Menace. Lifelink. You may exile five cards and return target creature. Very nasty. Hey, and we have a list card in the back here. Another mythic. Palucranos, the World Eater. It's a legendary Hydra mythic. Very cool. Monstrosity X. Put a bunch of plus one, plus one counters. And then uh, deals X damage divided them on. Cool. And they're both legendary creatures, so you can use them as commanders. So adding these to our list of possible commanders. Right, so our little arena card there. Ooh, very fancy looking artwork. More of these to land. Bullet Slinger. Cat Soldier. Nice. It's very cool to pull Mythics, even if, you know, they're not worth a ton like those two. It's just very cool to have them. Add them to your collection. I personally don't have either of those two cards, which is awesome. Hey, it's a Judith. Scourge Diva. And there's a Judith from Markov that I'm trying to build right now that turns one damage into a board wipe. Single damage into a board wipe. Jeru and Hazarot, a human god. Another rare here and an overgrown pest. Hey, there is a full art island. But yeah, the biggest card I need right now from this set is the Itali. My dino deck needs more dinos. And you can never have enough big dinos. And Itali helps out with that a lot. Invasion of Xerix. And then this side is a Vertex Paladin. We have a Valduke, Keeper of the Flame. A <laughs> Vorinclex. Nice, Tangled Skyline, A, hey, and we have another list card, Chain of Smog. Man, we are getting a lot of pulls from this set booster. But yeah, we have a Vorinclex, and then the back is an Enchantment Saga, the Grand Evolution. Yeah, I've pulled the Vorinclex Voice of Hunger before. But this is my first time pulling Vorinclex, the actual just Vorinclex on the channel. Hey, we have a nice little signed artist card here. And uh, away we go. Yeah, this is a cool set. There's not a lot of cards in here that are worth a lot of money, but there's a decent amount of cards that are worth between, you know, 5 to $10. Uh, a good solid handful of them, at least. Rooftop Saboteurs. Another Mythic, Alenda and Azor. Vampire Night Sphinx, and when it attacks, you may pay a bunch of mana, and you can draw a bunch of cards. You may pay for life. Cool. Yeah, this should be from the Commander decks from March of the Machines. Fear Judge, Judge of Valor. Nice. Ooh, Omnath Locus of All. And then Cinder. Big fan of just collecting legendary creatures. So this goes right along with that. Two more packs to go. Ooh, that is lovely art. I love the whole pencil drawing ink drawing kind of deals here all right let's see if we can get been sealed in necropolis anything crazy here again we're trying to get an atali dinosaur for our dino deck invasion of moranda primordial plasm on the other side which is an ooze and then we have suko progenitor Zarek. And a biology instructor, which is a Malady Invoker on the other side. Nice, you get to incubate a bunch of times and then uh, transform incubator tokens. We are on our last pack. Let's see if we can hit something crazy here. Ooh, very cool looking mountain. Full art land there. And then a Wolverine dinosaur. Nightmare. Ooh, Kami of Whispered Hopes. Aetherblade Agent, and that is a Taxian Mind Slinger. And then on here we have Invasion of Eldraine. Ooh, big fan of Wiles of Eldraine. Prickle Fairies. Invasion of Vern. And then on this side we have a Overloaded Mage Ring. And then our last Multiverse Legends card here. It's a King Tree Spirit. 
Nerd on token enters the battlefield under your control. Bolster. Yeah, little spirit soldier there. And then we have an invasion of Theros as our rare for the pack. Farah Ever Sheltering. It's a legendary enchantment creature god. Nice. Draws a card. Cool. More Azorius. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we'll put that there. And then for our last card, we have an injector crocodile and a double-sided placeholder. All right, so uh, I think this is a pretty solid opening. I'm gonna, gonna go out on a limb here and say that these two are probably our most worthwhile slash uh, expensive pulls. Didn't get the Atali, which I'm kind of sad about, but I think we got just about our money's worth from the pulls. Lots of mythics. We got a couple of list cards here, including a Chang of Smog, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, overall, this box opening uh, didn't disappoint. Might not have made our money back fully, but this was quite a fun opening. And now I have a lot more cards to play with, which is always a good thing. Anyway, if you like this opening, please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.